dear students now we are going to discuss the boundary conditions for electromagnetic fields that is time varying fields so here we can consider two different media with different parameters epsilon 1 mu 1 and sigma 1 for medium 1 epsilon 2 mu 2 and sigma 2 for medium 2 okay so here we have already discussed the boundary conditions for static electric field and static magnetic field as a separate one. For this time varying electromagnetic fields, we can simply combine both the boundary conditions for electric field and magnetic field. So the first one is the boundary conditions for electric field. So here we can take the tangential component. So here the tangential component of the electric field is continuous at the surface area. So at this boundary, we can take the surface area like this. Here the tangential component of this medium 1 is equal to the tangential component of this medium 2. Okay, so that is the first boundary conditions here. So the tangential component of electric field intensity is continuous at the surface. There is no change. Okay, but at the same time, there is a change in this normal component of electric flux density d means electric flux so here the normal component of electric flux density is continuous in case of the rho s is equal to zero that means if the surface charge density is equal to zero there is no charge on this surface then we can say the normal component of electric flux density is continuous at the boundary but if there are some charges on the surface, definitely the same normal component is not continuous with this boundary area. So that is given over here. If the rho s is not equal to 0, then the normal component of electric flux density is discontinuous. Discontinuous means it is not same. Okay. So its difference value is equal to the rho s value. So next we can take the boundary conditions for magnetic field. So here we can take the tangential component of magnetic field intensity H is continuous except for a perfect conductor. That means the tangential component of magnetic field intensity is continuous at the boundary. Okay. So if the medium is perfect conductor then the tangential component of the magnetic field intensity is not same that means it is discontinuous at the boundary area okay the next one is magnetic flux density here we can consider the normal component so the normal component of the magnetic flux density is always continuous at the boundary for magnetic field okay